Hello, YouTubers. It is Travis. Welcome back to the channel. I hope things are well in your world. I have for you today a very rare video uh, where we're going to get into a top four situation. You're not going to see trees. Praise the new patch. I think that you'll enjoy this one. It was a fun one, uh, although, well, I'll let you see it and not spoil it for you. Uh, the, the ending was interesting, and there, there may have been some small amount of frustration, but feeling things in games is important. I have a feeling you'd also enjoy checking out my Twitch stream, which you can find at twitch.tv slash simulin. So make sure to stop by and check that out. All right, enjoy. I do pretty good with uh, Fallen Angle. I feel like I end up playing Fallen Angel a lot, but it's because I often place well when I take it. So let's keep it going. These good units for Fallen Angle. What's Miri going to take? Miri's going to take a sure shot if they can. I'm actually going to try to greed this. If I do, then we end up not needing the fruit. But that's kind of fine. Or I can like take the cat roll and try to find another evil. Because getting the evil buff going is top priority. Okay, fair enough. The correct choice was the cat. I'm bad and I feel bad. If we get an evil unit in the next pack, we are looking clean. Is Fallen Angel considered overpowered by the vast majority of players, or is it just me? Poor dragon. They didn't get their glory. Look at this start. Look at it. Do you see what I've done? I have become a crazy cat man. I'm cat man. I solve crime and poop in a box. I did miss Storm King value. Good call, Doomfish. It's like, who even knows what they were doing? They're just getting ranched. This board is so good. I don't know what to do with it. Nice. Become? I'm lost. I forgot what I said. It's late in the day and I'm tired and can't remember anything. I think after 3 p.m., I can't remember anything that happened five minutes ago.
Chonk. You can flip a woggle like nobody's business on FA. I'm doing that. I think I can take a turn off of the gold farm to do it. I also quite like the donkey more than the happy little tree as all of the summons that come out of it also get the bonus. I suppose if this pairs and I see like a creeper in the next pack, like I can envision worlds where I would play this happy little tree, so I may as well take it. Most of what I would want this level is um, experience because I think we're strong enough to take it. You don't have a dumb face. You're cool and I like you. It's probably more likely to slay in the back, eh? Let's see what we can do. If it doesn't, I can keep the gold farm going and just look for the XP. Like, I don't need to be cheating two or three things. Go left. Nice. Now that is a full value win. They're not having a good time. I mean, it's a budget doubly. I still kind of don't want it. What do I want? Level three pairs, level three units, that sort of thing. Things of that nature. Probably not to be playing this this turn. Could probably play a pig. I mean, what I should do is just take, take this gold into the next level. I may still need this to beat Loki. I don't love that buy now. I don't need that either. It's a bit of a weird turn. I basically just spun everything and didn't buy anything. That is not a position I would like to be in very often. I don't think we get punished for it, but that was not a great turn. Let's make sure we do level four things on level four. Like Sporko. I like Sporko quite a bit. These are kind of done. Like, whatever I'm doing, I just don't need those. Sporko could let me flip this woggle, toggle the woggle now, as they say. We could court wizard to make sure we have our other buff too. And maybe look at something like this as a, a board. I could also kind of get out of the bad level two units and more into the monster book. I regret buying this. I think it was incorrect. It is what it is. And maybe something like this. Vainpire kind of sucks now, but sorry, Vainpire. Sporko is probably the best unit in the game. Like, all, all joking aside, I really think, I'm just, I always want to find it on level four. I remember when I was first watching people play, and they always just got excited about Sporkos, and I didn't understand why. And then when I got a little better at the game, I understood why. Sporkos insane. Oh, 
I'm not even gonna crack my monster bog. <laughs> Unfortunate. Aeon, you say? I mean, that's a whole new world. We'll do it for now. Aeon can be good. I could also try to toggle more woggles. But I feel like this is good enough for right now. I can get a discount on spells. I'd need to find some threes and find ball if we want to consider, like, really getting into wizards. Which I'm not entirely opposed to. This is runestones or skip, I think. Eh, we'll eventually lose around, right? I mean, Monster Book Mages is a thing. I've heard. It's a weird looking board, y'all. I don't really feel like I need the discount yet so much as I want the scaling on the back line is what's up with the positioning here. Yeah, me too. Fair enough. That beauty game was pretty weird. Neat. We got our scaling anyway. Spellweaver? It might have been if we're going to go super deep into spellweaving. Still mostly interested in XP here. We could try to get really weird with copycats, but I don't think I want to do that. I mainly just wanted this. This is a mage I like a good bit. We could try positioning Aeon back here. It's still kind of weird like he's not gonna get any slays, but we do scale the mages. I'm, I may actually miss getting that Storm King value. That'd be hilarious. But we're, we're not mages yet. We just have a mage board right now. We'll probably end up trees. That's how every Fallen Angel game eventually ends. It feels like I'm cheating when I play this hero. Do we break for burning or uh, for court wizards? I mean, I would pair it. This isn't quite a Royals build, but I, I don't think we're gonna stay in wizards forever. Cause like, I just haven't hit the hat ball pieces. How much do we want to disrespect fates? Not that much. I mean, that could be interesting. I kind of want this other Aeon now. I think I'm going to get it.
ninth book. That's a six now, right? Not a nine. Don't quite know how I find it. Don't think I want to kidnap Loki. This is a lot of gold to roll for another Aeon if I want it. Yeah, I I, I was I was being silly, Hogue. I I remember what level it is. I think I'm kind of fine with that. Not really finding it, huh? I do want this, and I think I'm ready to play it. This would TLK into a six, which is interesting, but I don't need like a random six that much. I mean, it seems like something you could roll the dice on if you'd like to roll dice. And some people do. They were doing puff puff things before. I have to believe we're better than puff puff things. Jercules can't be the way, right? That would be insane. It's always too late for Herc. I was just checking to make sure y'all knew that. It's 5-2, FYI, so it's not terrible that we don't have a 6 yet. It can be a challenge toast. I just want my ninth book. And that Storm King that I should have leveled up. Beginning to put some health on some of my wizards is probably a good idea. So I'm going to take that one. Nope, Storm Kings do not exist. And they can't help me. There's my second Sporko. Neat. We've been waiting for that. I've tried to position myself so that I can't sit on my feet. Which is good, because I don't need to be sitting on my feet. It's 
So if I look like I'm squirming, that's why. Good boys. We needed to lose this one to get our secret stash value, so it's okay. Where's the bloody Storm King? The King of Storms. I have a mimicked forking rod. That'll let me get some spells out there. So that lets me turn fours into sixes. I just don't think I want to TLK anything here. Like I could try to spike this into a Storm King. It does potentially get threes into sixes. I don't have threes. No, I don't think I want to do that. We're still looking for too many things. Do I? No, I don't lock for that. I need ninth book. I thought about that too long. And that animation took too long. I don't much care for that. There is no number bigger than six. That's one thing we've learned from Storybook Brawl Band Geek. We're using a Babylonian numbering system. Oh, humble king of storms, I beseech thee, Let's have arbitrarily large numbers. Why not? I don't want any of Miri's crap. Gotta look at this animation four times and then panic roll for my Storm King. White fork that pig -o. This is the most I've ever rolled for a Storm King in my life. I can't beat them unless I hit the Storm King. Or we position to a scam comp. Like I can doom roll for Storm King or I can just try to work with what we have. So if this goes off first, does that actually kill anything? No, it might hit the Court Wizard, but probably not. I don't think a good boy does anything for us. We're not good enough yet. If we had enough time, we could think about that. How does Cupid look? It's cute if we hit Rom Romero. To a, less, to a much lesser extent, Arthur. I think we're mostly looking for like Medusa to try to scam the good boy. 
um, or just a pigo, which I would also find acceptable. Kind of sucks. I was still believing that we could, in some strange universe, hit a pigamorph. There's one. It's enough for us to tie. potentially great depending on what it hits like hitting the good boy means we basically win yeah I'll give this a go It's like the one spot where I feel like pumpkin isn't exactly what we want. This really isn't doing anything right. Yeah. Scam them. Guess we may as well do this though. Why not? Those were not ideal hits. We still get another turn though. To find that Storm King, which I am not convinced exists. Three times. Storm King. All right, this is what I got. Let's do it. This is a lot of not Storm Kings. They could also not go first once. But no, that will never happen. That's insane. They went first every game, attacked into my range unit every game. Like, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Uh, we were 66% to win that, and all of them, literally all of them, we've been like 66% to win. Like, it's kind of nutter butter. But this was not a bad finish for Treasureless Mages. Like, there were things we could have hit, and I think we did what we could 
to hit the things we could have hit. It was also a game where, like, trees didn't win, uh, which, let me tell you, that's kind of refreshing, so I'll take it. Big thank yous to my patrons. Thank you, Paul, Punk, Hero, Joe, Jesse, Jacob, Scott, Basti, Rich, Brandon, Jazzy, Craig, and Geis. I appreciate y'all.